summary question. Question 18. Over the last three, now for a summary question, read the passage, get the important points on your fingertips and then look at the option which covers all the important points. Remember the incorrect summary can be, can misrepresent facts in the passage, can be out of scope, but some incorrect summary options give only half the points given in the passage, some of the points. So they are too narrow and therefore not the correct summary. So you may sometimes in your hurry say how huh, this this point has been mentioned so you'll be given the the close and the correct option the close option will have one or two important points missing or maybe one important point missing so it's important that you have your own summary in mind before you look at the options over the last three decades we've seen a rapid transformation in the distribution of power around the world we went from a bipolar configuration between 1945 and 1989 to a unipolar configuration between 89 and 2008 before entering what we call a complex multipolarity. So we have traveled from bipolar to multi to unipolar to a multi complex multipolarity. That's our first point. It indicates that world economic order is composed of three dominant poles. This complex multipolarity has three poles. The United States, China and European Union, although politically the world structure, no, no, it indicates the world is comprised of three dominant poles, United States, China and European o o Union, economically these, although politically the world structure is more complex because an emerging Sino-American bipolarity is increasingly structuring the world system. One. Economically, economic order, the poll is United States, China and European Union. But politically, China and US are polarized and therefore the world structure, this, the world structure system has changed. Next, there are strong regional and political and military parts emerging like Russia and Turkey that don't have economic power. So economic order, you have US, China, Europe. Politically, China and US are divergent. They're not part of the same poll. On top of that, you have regional powers like Russia and Turkey, which don't have economic power, but have strong region, political and military. They're strong politically and militarily. And there are world actors between the two, like the EU, that don't carry, that carry a strong economic weight, but who are political poles in the making. So you have Russia, Turkey, who are political and uh, uh, militarily uh, powerful, not economically powerful. You have EU, which is economically powerful, but not politically powerful. It's just trying to become politically powerful. So this is the way he has described the multi uh, complex multipolarity of the present world. So your correct summary will tell you the the movement from multiple from uh, bipolarity, unipolarity to a complex multipolarity, and also explain in some detail the structure of the present multipolarity which one explains that best without misrepresenting anything or missing out anything is a correct summary okay let's see over the last 30 years the world has gone from a bipolar configuration to a unipolar one and finally to a multipolar configuration good but incomplete it doesn't tell you the structure of the multipolar configuration correct although the world is currently multipolar in distribution of power the main bipolarity in the sino-american one is increasingly constructing the new world order doesn't mention the regional the strong regional political military power of russia turkey eu so incomplete the distribution of power has transitioned from a bipolar to a unipolar and now to a multipolar configuration with many strong regional political and military powers is it c or the distribution of power has evolved from a bipolar to a unipolar now to a complicated multipolar configuration with three superpowers and some strong regional powers is it many strong regional political and military powers no some strong regional the three powerful ones he has mentioned the dominant poles so three superpowers some strong regional powers will cover all these perfect so it is d 
Yes, it is. Three says many strong regional powers. Some. Okay. And also mentions three superpowers. US, China, EU. All right. 